Hello everyone and welcome back to the Cloudmersive YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to resize an image using the Cloudmersive Image Connector in Power Automate. We're going to start on the Power Automate homepage and from there click on Create to get a new project started. Select Instant Cloud Flow and give your flow a name. Then select Manually Trigger a Flow and click Create at the bottom to move on. On the Flow Design page, click New Step to begin. Type Get File Content into the search bar and select the option that aligns with the application your file lives in. My file lives in OneDrive, so I'm selecting that option, and then I'm clicking on the folder icon and navigating to my file through the folder path. Now you can click on New Step again. This time, you're going to include the Cloudmersive Image Connector in the flow. Type Cloudmersive into the search bar and select the image connector with the yellow icon from the list below. Once selected, you can search for actions associated with that connector. Start typing Resize and select the correct option when it comes up. When resizing, you'll need to enter in the width and height of the output image. You can find your image's current height and width by right-clicking on it and reviewing its properties. Enter in the new height and width you'd like and then redefine the image file for the operation by selecting File Content from the Dynamic Content window. After that, copy in the file's unique identifier and you're all done with this step. For the final step in the operation, click a new step again and type create file into the search bar. Then, once again, select the right application for your new file to live in. Navigate the folder path to select a folder destination for your new file. Then give your new file a name and define the content of the file by selecting body from the dynamic content window. You can now click Save and begin testing the flow. To start that process, click on Test in the upper right corner of the page, select the option to manually trigger, and then click Test at the bottom followed by Continue and then Run Flow. If your project successfully tested, you'll see green check marks appear in the upper right corner of each operation in the flow. Otherwise, any errors will be clearly identified on the right side of the page for your review. Once the test completes, head to your target folder to ensure the file ended up in the right place. As you can see, I now have a resized image file in the right folder. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe for further content.